He broke the story of a Phoenix detective mishandling evidence going back years. It's creating confusion and problems in dozens of murder cases. And tonight, ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscavine is back with new information about that detective. This is former homicide detective Jennifer DePonzio. In this picture, one of several from a past recruitment campaign for Phoenix PD. But DePonzio went from a literal poster child for the department to off the force, retired under a disability claim, leaving dozens of murder cases up in the air. They allegedly found a horde of evidence that she had not either supplemented, impounded, turned in, whatever it was. That's a defense attorney during a hearing to talk about what to do in 37 active murder court cases that DePonzio had some role in. And the defense attorneys claimed that Phoenix PD and the Maricopa County Attorney's Office have been hiding info about DePonzio's mishandling of evidence. I believe that due to the accumulation of errors, and lack of documentation that these defendants are completely entitled to this information and it is only fair for them to have it. In addition to the 37 ongoing murder court cases, attorneys said so far a total of 61 police investigations are impacted. But surprisingly, we discovered she's not on MCAO's publicly released Brady List. The Brady List is a database of officers with histories of issues that need to be disclosed to the defense. So why isn't DePonzio on it? Here's what MCAO's chief of staff told us. Quote, Officer Jennifer DePonzio was added to tier two of the Brady list. The biweekly list distributed by this office contains the officers designated as tier one. So in other words, DePonzio is on a more secretive Brady list. And prosecutors were asking the court to decide what information they could keep redacted in secret. That's something the judge questioned. Just engaging in this practice at all concerns me. Um, and um, I worry that you know, the Brady obligation is yours, not mine. And that brings us to something else. Former Detective DePonzio is married to Assistant Chief Nicholas DePonzio. We asked Phoenix PD if that had any role in how she's been handled and how information has been released. They didn't answer that question in an emailed statement. They wrote in part, when this former detective went out on leave, we transferred her cases to other detectives. In accordance with discovery requirements, we have been continuously working with the Maricopa County Attorney's Office to assist in bringing these cases to resolution. I'm Investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15, Arizona. Thank you, Dave.